The question is that the motion as amended be agreed. The Honourable Carl again. Thank you, Mr Deputy President. And I'm very glad to rise today and uh, respond to some of the uh, utter rubbish that I've heard from the opposition uh, today on this motion. Uh, one of the things that you would think would shock me but hasn't is their total lack of support to try and go local first, try to hire West Australians. And that is evident well before in their last government when we've seen them totally drop the ball in that space. Now, that's not the first time that I've heard the National Liberal Party talk about not putting locals first. And when it, when it first arrived for me in 2017, it was from the federal government. We had a, uh, an issue in the Goldfields region around um, uh, we needed workers, and that's something that's been ongoing. And this big idea that Michaela Cash came barging into town about was a Dharma agreement. Now, the Dharma agreement was an attempt to bring foreign workers over uh, to fill the skill shortages within Kalgoorlie. When the conversation was started, I said to um, the working group there, why aren't we looking at skilled Australians to bring across to the goldfields? Now, you would think potentially you might have to go away and have a look to find out where there are unemployment and the skills to bring across, but the federal government had already destroyed an industry that had skilled workers in it. That's called the car industry. They'd absolutely wiped out manufacturing in the car industry, which had so many skills in it, so many skilled families that were made unemployment, uh, unemployed. I think there was 45,000 alone in South Australia. But instead of the federal government having a, having a think about bringing skilled Australians across to Western Australia and making it easier, they chose to take the easy option and do a Dharma agreement, get other businesses to come in, pay $10,000 and talk about how they're going to bring foreign uh, workers across into the goldfields. Now, what we were also struggling with in the goldfields at the time was having families in the, in, the, um, in the small towns around the goldfields and in Kalgoorlie. So out in Cambalda, for example, Coolgardie. So you would think that at the very least they were thinking about populating the region. No, no, no. There was nothing in the Dharma agreements about them having to actually live in the goldfields. So every application that went across to somebody overseas in the UK, they were going to live in Perth. So there was no attempt to move them out to the regions. It was simply a trick by the federal government. And then what they, what they decided to do, they must have been a little bit worried because Rick Wilson showed up in Kalgoorlie once out of the three years that I've been out there and decided to say um, that uh, just in the dying days of their government, they were going to do a five-year deal on a Dharma agreement. Five-year deal, just to throw that in there. It's absolutely outrageous. There has been a severe lack from the federal government on training and skill opportunities for West Australian workers and Australian workers. There is this fantasy of bringing foreign workers over is the only option. It is unbelievable the hypocrisy that has come from the other side today. And one of the great projects that Minister Alana McTiernan has spearheaded has been um, the migration project, where we have seen families that are in Perth, that are over here um, struggling to get work. We've got them together um, through uh, uh, legal aid, and we've organised with employers in the goldfields to bring families that are um, seeking citizenship here in Australia to do their year out in the goldfields. And we've managed to get over 60 families out there now, living in Cambalda, living in Coolgardie, living in Kalgoorlie, filling skills out there in the region. It has been an amazing project run on the smell of an oily rag. It has gone so well, and, that, and I have to give a massive shout out to Blessings, who has been an amazing advocate in that space. The minister has driven, driven this project not, not, not Dharma, not bringing people in from outside. We're talking about people that are currently here in the country that are looking for work. There has been, um, it has been taken on by uh, the Coolgardie Shire, I know, has been a huge supporter that has taken on um, a, a three different families and provided work through their council and also then also connecting other people with mining companies and mining jobs. There, there was a young man I met who, uh, who was uh, sleeping at a train station here in Perth. 
and is now working for Northern Star out in the goldfields. And that all came through this program of placement. What really upset me around the Dharma push and the fact that they signed a five-year agreement was there was a total lack of effort to seek Australian workers first. And I tell you, you know, the Honourable Steve Martin may laugh about a pay rise, but some of them conditions that have been out there, particularly with backpackers getting paid crumbs by certain workforces, you need to understand this is not a joke. You cannot pay pebbles and expect to get workforces. There needs to be an understanding that in some of these areas there are problems. There needs to be a better... Oh, look, isn't it Order. funny how you deflect Order. so quickly from the industry that you're talking about? Just Order. jumps right out of it. Order. Order. Members, the Honourable Carl McGinn has a very short time frame to conclude his remarks. The Honourable Carl McGinn. Thank you for your protection, uh, Deputy President. I appreciate it. Um, look, it, I just find it quite amusing that that uh, whenever it suits them, the the, uh, the 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 wording changes, and we end up going down a path of oh, we've done we've done we've done everything right, we've done everything right. You know, it's the bad McGowan government, boo hoo hoo. You know, it's not the federal government, um, it's not the national liberal opposition that we have here. It's definitely not us for the eight years when we sat on our hands and didn't support local workforces and didn't support people to move into the regions, didn't do a thing, just sat on our hands and waited, waited for it to happen. And then out of some miracle, as soon as you get into opposition, you've got this high and mighty, this high and mighty position that you know best and that this government doesn't. It's unbelievable the hypocrisy that comes out of the opposition. Don't be and, misleading. <laughs> And I think it's, 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 it is quite amusing, um, but it is sad that we are dealing with um, serious issues here, serious issues that um, need to be tackled. And I can, I can gladly say that I know, particularly in the agricultural area, that the Honourable Alana McTiernan has been working tirelessly in that space, tirelessly in that space, working, consulting and trying to find solutions. Now, unlike, unlike the federal government that likes a hot shot of butter, this is about real outcomes for the future. It's about training. And if we go for locals first and we get a handful of locals that go and do that job on the wander out, uh, work, out, work out yonder, then, then why not? Then why not? That, that to me is a success. We want to see workers move from out here into the regions. And, dare, and we should absolutely try our hardest to make sure that they get the first opportunity. And we should absolutely try our best to ensure that we do that first. And this is not an issue that has just arose because of a pandemic. There has been issues within industries, particularly utilising foreign workforces, for many years before this. And if we had have just had some vision and seen what a pandemic could possibly do to our reliance on foreign labour in this country, we may have had more skilled, trained West Australians in these positions. And I think that that, that, that needs to be taken into account when we're talking about the situation that we find ourselves in today. Um, like I said, I am still absolutely flabbergasted by the total lack of um, effort by the federal government on the car industry falling over in this country with skilled workers, skilled workers that were left out to dry. Over 45,000 just in South Australia alone, where we could have done some proper negotiations with them and found out how to get families across to the gold fields and put them in skilled positions. But instead, they went for the easy target putting together a Dharma agreement to try and bring over foreign labour. And what happened? We had a pandemic. Now the Dharma doesn't mean anything because the federal government are short-sighted once again. Unbelievable. Um, so, so as in regards to this motion, I understand and listening to the Honourable Alana McTiernan, uh, who has a lot of common sense in this space, that we are working on many things to try and find our way through this situation. And it is going to be beneficial to uh, regional WA that we all do our absolute best to try and find solutions, not just sling mud and, uh, and, and hope for the best. So I do commend uh, this amended motion and uh, I commend it to the House.